everyone, welcome to Nathan Academy and I'm Nathan. And today, in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 8. So, let's get started. Okay, so today I'll be going through question 8, so let's take a look at the question. So, this is the question, question 8, and it tests us on area and perimeter and circles, okay? So, this question has two parts, part A and part B. So, let's read the question for part A first. Okay, so John designed a logo as shown. So, this is the logo over here. The logo is made up of three small identical quarter circles, a large quarter circle, and two straight lines drawn inside a square of side 42 cm. Okay, so all of these are actually important information. So, Three small identical quarter circles, a large quarter circle, and two straight lines. Okay, inside of a square of side 42 cm. Okay, so they're telling us that the radius of each small quarter circle is 14 cm. Okay, so the radius over here is 14 cm. Okay, so you all know what the radius is, right? So radius is basically from the center point to the outer point. So this is 14 cm and thus this 2 is 14 cm. Okay, so in order to find the the length of the two straight lines in the square, we're going to take 42 minus 14 minus 14 because this is a square and the square has equal lengths, right? So 42 minus 14 minus 14 actually gives us 14, okay? So we can see that all the length over here is actually the same. So, so the length of the two straight lines drawn inside the square is actually 14 cm each, okay? So now that we know that, we can uh, read the part A. So what is the perimeter of the shaded area, okay? So the perimeter they're actually asking us is this part. So one arc, two small arcs, three small arcs. So three small arcs and one big arc, right? And also two straight lines over here. So this is basically the perimeter that they are asking us for. So we are going to find three small arcs plus one large arc so you all know what an arc is right an arc is actually this part over here so i've actually gone through this in all my videos so that's one arc so that's one large arc is over here okay this is the one large arc and two straight lines okay these two straight lines over here 14 and 14 so plus two straight straight lines which is a uh, 14 cm each okay so first let's find the length of three small arcs okay so uh, they are telling us that we should take pi as 22 over 7 so how do we find parameter do you remember the formula for circumference Okay, so basically, in order to find the perimeter of the three small quarter circles, uh, what we are going to do... So, in order to find the three small squ uh, quarter circles, what we are going to do is to actually take three quarter times pi times d. So, pi times d is actually the formula for circumference, right? Since it's only three quarter of a circle, we're going to take three quarter times pi times d. So, d is actually diameter. So, the diameter is actually... 14 plus 14, okay, which will give us 28. So we are going to take 3 quarter times 22 over 7 times 28, which will give us 66 cm. So this is the first part done, okay. So 3 arcs are done, okay. We are done with 3 arcs, and then now let's move on to the next part. One large arc, okay. So the parameter of a large quarter circle is basically one arc over here. Basically, is 1 quarter times pi times d. 
So the diameter, right, is actually 28 cm times 2 because we can see that the radius over here, right, so this is actually the radius over here, is actually 28 cm, right? So what we are going to do is to take 1 quarter times pi times uh, 28 times 2, which is basically 54, I believe. Okay, so 1 quarter times 22 over 7 times uh, 56. Sorry, it's not 54, it's 56. Okay, so we are going to take 1 quarter times 22 over 7 times 56, which will result in 44 cm. So the perimeter of one large arc is actually 44 cm, and the perimeter of three large, uh, I mean three small arcs is actually 66 cm. So now that we are done with that, in order to find the perimeter of the shaded area, we just need to take 66 cm plus 44 cm plus 214 cm. Okay? So perimeter of the shaded area is actually 66 plus 44 plus 14 plus 14. Okay? Which will actually give us 138 cm as the answer. So this is actually the perimeter of the shaded area. Okay? So now that we are done with that, let's move on to part B. Okay? Okay, so for part B, they are asking us what is the area of the shaded area. So, so what is the formula for area? So, just like that, the same thing we are going to do, okay? So in order to find area, right, we need to find the area of three small quarter circles, okay? And also, we need to find the area of this shaded figure over here. So in order to do that, we just need to do... So in order to find the area... Okay, let me erase everything. Okay? And in order to find the area of this red color part over here, do you know what we need to do? It's actually really simple. So let me draw this as well. So this is for you guys to visualize. So when you guys see this type of questions, right, you guys need to learn how to visualize. So what we are going to do in order to find this area, right, is to actually take a square, okay, minus the big arc over here. Okay? Oh, sorry, that, that doesn't look like an arc, actually. So minus the big arc over here. Okay? So when we do that, right, we are actually getting this part over here. Okay? So that's how we find the area of that. So what we need, so we already found out this, right? So what we need to do is to actually take three small quarter circle plus this part over here, okay? So that's what we are going to do. So first, let's do the easy thing, which is basically finding the area of three small quarter circles. So let's do that. So how do we do that? Do you remember the formula? So basically, what we are going to do is to take three quarter times pi times r square. Do you remember the formula for area? So area, the formula for area is basically pi times two, uh, pi times r square. Okay. So when we are doing that, right, it's actually pi r square. Okay. Area's formula is actually pi r square. So we are taking three quarters since there's three quarters of uh, a circle times pi times r square. So what is r square actually? It's actually 14 square, right? In order to find the area. So we are going to take three quarter times 22 over 7 times 14 square, which will give us 462 cm square. Okay? So this is the result of three small quarter circles area. Now let's move on to find the area of the square. So area of the small square is actually 28 times 28. Because we know that this length over here is actually 28 and this length is 28. So in order to find the area is actually 28 square, which is basically 28 times 28, which will actually result in 784 cm square. Okay, so this is the area of the small uh, square. So after that, we just need to find the area of this large quarter circle in order to minus it off to find this small shaded area, okay? 
So area of the large quarter circle is basically 1 quarter times pi r square. So which is basically 1 quarter times 22 over 7 times 28 square. Because the radius is actually 28 for the large quarter circle as well. So we, we get an answer of 616. So now let's take 784 minus 616. Okay? So area of the small shaded part is actually... 784 minus 616, which will give us 168 cm square. So now what we need to do is to actually take this value and this value and add it up together. Okay? So let's do that. So in order to find the area of the shaded area uh, of the shaded part, we are going to take 462 plus 168, which will actually give us 630 cm square. So this is actually the answer for this question part B, okay? So with that, I've come to the end of this video and I hope you understand how to do uh, area and parameter circle questions and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!